13 August. Welcome to today's audio devotion by Rev. Paddy Aqua. Today's topic, Navigating Life Storms Animos. In the passage from Mark 4, 37 to 39, we see a vivid account of Jesus and his disciples crossing the Sea of Galilee when a fierce storm arises. The storm is so severe that the waves are crashing into the boat, filling it with water and threatening to sink it. Despite the chaos, Jesus is in the stern peacefully asleep on a pillow. Panicked, the disciples wake him, crying out, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? In response, Jesus arises, rebukes the wind, the Greek word animos used here refers to a violent wind or tempest and commands the sea, peace, be still. Immediately, the wind ceases and there is a great calm. Jesus then questions his disciples, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? The symbolism of the storm the storm represents the trials and tribulations that we encounter in life. The waves crashing into the boat symbolize the overwhelming challenges that can invade our lives, threatening our stability and peace, whether it be in our marriages, businesses, relationships, health, or personal endeavors. Just as the boat is designed to navigate the water without being overwhelmed by it, so are we as believers meant to journey through this world without allowing the storms of life to overcome us. The call to faith, Jesus' rebuke of the wind and his command to the sea, illustrate his absolute authority over creation and the circumstances of life. His expectation for the disciples was that they would have faith in his presence and his power, especially after witnessing numerous miracles. However, in the face of the storm, their fear overshadowed their faith. This mirrors the experience of many believers today. We start our spiritual journey with strong faith, but when storms arise, fear and doubt creep in. Jesus' question, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Serves as a gentle rebuke and a call to examine our own faith. It challenges us to remember that Jesus, who has authority over all things, is with us in every situation. He is not just a passive presence, but a powerful force who can bring peace and calm to any storm we face. The Divine Destiny God has a divine plan and purpose for each of us. Jeremiah 29.11 reminds us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Like the disciples, we are on a journey to the other side, where there are new revelations, growth, and opportunities waiting for us. However, the journey is not without its challenges. The storms we encounter are often tests of faith, meant to strengthen and prepare us for what lies ahead. In Acts 27, 7-15, we see another example of a storm, this time with the Apostle Paul on his way to Rome. Despite the danger and the fear of those aboard the ship, Paul receives divine assurance that they will survive, demonstrating once again that God's purpose will prevail despite the storms. Revelation 7.1 further emphasizes God's control over the elements, as he commands the angels to hold back the winds, showing that nothing happens outside of his sovereign will. Waking Jesus, the need for prayer and acknowledgement. One of the key lessons from this passage is that it's not enough to simply have Jesus on board in our lives 
we must actively engage with him. The disciples had Jesus with them, but they needed to wake him up an act that symbolizes prayer, acknowledgement and dependence on God. Jesus delights in being called upon, in being recognized as the source of our help and strength. He desires that we turn to him in our moments of need, not as a last resort but as our first response. As we navigate through the year, many of us may find that the storms of life are beating into our proverbial boats. Our marriages, businesses, education, and other areas of life. The waters of life can be overwhelming, but this passage reminds us that Jesus is with us, and when we call upon him, he is more than able to calm the storms. Today's prayer I come before you today, acknowledging that there have been times when I have let fear and doubt creep into my heart. I know that you are always with me, even in the midst of the storms that seem overwhelming. I thank you for your constant presence in my life and for the assurance that you are in control of every situation I face. Lord Jesus, I ask for your forgiveness for the moments when I've allowed the challenges of life to shake my faith. I invite you to be fully awake in every area of my life. Please calm the storms that are threatening my peace, whether they are in my relationships, my work, my health, or any other part of my life. Speak your peace into these situations, Lord, and let your power be evident in my life. If you love this audio devotion, kindly subscribe, like, and share this channel. Have a blessed day. Pass Karis and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.